you'll see only on Local 10 of an FHP trooper stopping a speeding car only to discover it was being driven by another law enforcement officer. That trooper thought he was on the tail of a reckless driver. And he was shocked to find out who it really was. Local 10's Ian Margle is live in Miami Gardens with the exclusive. Ian. So this happened at the end of November. This trooper thought he was chasing a reckless driver who had fled from a traffic stop. Instead, he ends up spinning out another cop. This is a textbook use of the precision immobilization technique, better known as a pit maneuver. But they normally aren't used against other law enforcement officers. Oh, I didn't see your light. I didn't see your light. This incident happened on November 29th. Florida Highway Patrol received reports of a car that fled a traffic stop and was driving recklessly. After a bit of driving and following directions from dispatch, the trooper recording this dash cam video gets behind a dark colored Kia and begins to follow. They leave the 826 and continue eastbound on Northwest 167th Street before making a left turn to go north on Northwest 12th Avenue. Then, right as they approach Park Center Boulevard, the trooper pulls up next to the Kia and performs the pit. pit, pit, pit. Then, watch carefully. The driver of the Kia leans over and turns on his own red and blue lights. <laughs> turns out it was the wrong car. Instead of stopping the fleeing driver, the trooper spun out an Opalaka police captain. Kidding me? Oh, I got the wrong car. I didn't see the lights in the back. The two Leos got out and began talking about the mistake. The FHP trooper saying he saw a car with dark tinted windows speeding down the road, so he assumed it was the car he was looking for. He had no lights on his car and he was hauling I, I didn't. I thought it was the car. That's my fault. That's my fault. It should have been a blue Mercedes. And he's in a, and he's in a, a Kia. That's my fault. We know that Florida Highway Patrol is investigating this, but there are still a lot of questions that remain. The big ones being, why was that Opalaka police officer driving, following apparently the same car the FHP trooper was supposed to be following, but without any lights or sirens? Why did the FHP trooper have so little information that he ended up spinning around the entirely incorrect car? And did either of these law enforcement officers face any discipline? We have asked both agencies these questions. As soon as we get any answers, we'll let you know. Live in Miami Gardens, I'm Ian Margle, Local 10 News.